Hey guys, it's Dee Dee and I am back with another Wind Down Wednesday. And as always, I've taken my shower, I've done my 5011 skincare products, I got my smell goods on, I got my candle lit, and I forgot I had this cute little candle holder and it says love the wine you're with and it has little wine glasses on it so that's a cute little touch. I got me a new prop back here from Trader Joe's. It's this like humongous bottle of wine this is real it's a real bottle of wine i don't know if i plan on drinking it because i ain't got nobody to drink all this wine with and it'll go bad before i can drink all of it but i figured it would be a cute prop to sit back here and look cute in my video um so this week we're going to be trying out a chardonnay so let's get into what we got this week So as I had told you guys previously, I do have a list of wines that I am trying from Trader Joe's. And beside each wine, after I try it, I make a little note beside it. So I'll say like, yes, no, okay, you know, whatever, oaky, tastes like pineapple, whatever, different little notes like that. And the employee saw that beside the Chardonnays that I had tried, I had put no, that I didn't like those Chardonnays. So she recommended this one because she said that this one would be different than the other ones that I had tried. So the one that she recommended is this. It's the Trader Joe's Growers Reserve Chardonnay. And I'll read um, what it says on the back. It says, cultivate simplicity. A simple enough directive, yet some simple pursuits come about through tremendous hard work. Organic farming, for example. The wine in this bottle was made with organically grown grapes. Our 2019 Chardonnay is crisp and delightful with peach, melon, and stone fruit notes, subtle vanilla oak, and a well-balanced finish. So we'll see. I am not the biggest fan of Chardonnay. Um, I'm, but like I said, I'm trying to expand my palate and not just drink one thing all the time. The only Chardonnay that I found that I really am in love with, I got from First Leaf. Um, I had tried them out last year at the beginning of the pandemic. I ordered a box from them and there was a Chardonnay in there called Trailstone and it was the best Chardonnay I have ever had in my life. It was the creamiest, just most fantastic Chardonnay I've ever had in my life. And I love it, but you can only get it online and it's like $20 a bottle. And your girl ain't really about that life. Um, but I also thought to myself, like all these nasty Chardonnays that I've tried in the pursuit of trying to fill that void of the trail stone, I could have just went ahead and ordered the trail stone all the money that i've spent on nasty chardonnay i could have just ordered it so then i went online to order it and it's out of stock they just won't let me be great so we're going to try this and see if i like it that's what she recommended and then this is the glass that i'm drinking it's not really what well, is plastic but this is what i'm drinking out of today it says work hard I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was like 99 cents. It's got little glitters in it. And I chose this one because, y'all, your girl is out here working hard for y'all, trying to get this content and making stuff for y'all and driving all over at Timbuktu, trying to find these different wines that we don't have at our Trader Joe's here. Um, I'm working. So I'm buying stuff for the channel buying these little wine things because i lost mine so i had to order some from the amazon all right so this is not a twisty top it does have a cork in it use my little wine bottle opener here and listen don't tell me this ain't the right way to do it i, am, I ain't using the right form and all that jazz well, i done told y'all ain't no sommelier now we gonna open this thing like we open it. We gonna get this, get it out like we get it out. It smells like feet.
Um, oh, I'm going to have my husband mute that part, that um, mouthy part. And I'm going to do the slurpy thing too. And I'm going to have him mute that. In the last video, I said I was going to have him mute it. And I told y'all that, but I didn't tell him that. And then it was in the video. And I had already posted the video to YouTube before I realized that it was up there with me making the slurpy noises. So we had to go remove the video from YouTube, go in and edit out the slurpy noises, and then put it back up there. Sorry for all of y'all who watched that video with me making those slurpy noises. It will not happen again. I don't like these. Um, so here's the thing. There's there's not too many Chardonnays that I like. Uh, I like the Trailstone and then the, I think, Menage a Trois Gold, something like that. It tastes like pineapples. I think those are like the only two Chardonnays that I've ever had that I actually liked. Other than that, it's hard for me to find a, a Chardonnay that I really like. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not meant to drink Chardonnay or I got to pay $20 a bottle for it. Oh, by the way, this was $5.99 at Trader Joe's. And they ain't getting nothing there. Another $6 out of me um, from what I can tell because I don't really... I don't taste none of that. None of that what they talking about. Let me do a little slurpy thing and see if I can taste it. Mm -mm. I mean, I guess I taste a little peach right there, but... Mm -mm. I ain't going to say this tastes like sadness and disappointment. Um, I'm going to say it tastes like... Um, I don't know. It's not terrible, but it's not good either. Like, honestly, it really don't have that much of a taste. Like, it has this weird taste in the beginning, and then it's like nothing. Also, maybe it's me. I just thought about that. Mmm. I don't know. Like, it kind of tastes like nothing. Like, when you first drink it, it has, like, this weird taste. And then, like, by the time you swallow it, it tastes like nothing. Just, like, cold liquid in your mouth. Like, it don't really have a taste like it. I don't know. This was disappointing. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't buy this again. Mm -mm. Not it's so I remember my rating system like good, okay, sadness and disappointment. It's like in between okay and sadness and disappointment like it's not it's and like honestly i don't even know if this is worth making sangria out of because it doesn't taste like anything like it doesn't really have a taste to it and i'm really upset about this like it really doesn't taste like anything Mm-mm. Ma'am, sir, Uncle Trader Joe, where? 
like, where's the flavor? Because it smelled like feet. You would think it would taste like something. Now I want it to taste like feet, but. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I don't like this. We'll try again next week, y'all. Y'all ain't been leaving me no recommendations in the comments. So, um, I don't know. I'm just over here grasping at straws. So, I don't know, y'all. Leave me some comments to let me know what to buy down to the Trader Joe's or wherever. Um, I got some more stuff from Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's when I was in Orlando and I got some stuff that they don't sell here in Tennessee. So I could review it for you guys because the people down to the Instagram was raving about it. So I did get some, some new stuff. Sorry, Tennessee people, but y'all not going to be able to drink it unless you go somewhere else and find it like I did. But I'll be reviewing that. But other than that, y'all got to let me know what else to drink because this ain't doing it. This here. No, ma'am. All right, guys. That is it for this week's Wind Down Wednesdays. I will see you guys next week. And until then, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.